Wednesday car thoughts. What type of an insane ball of energy would decide to come and have the Earth experience? I think the answer is whoever is listening and watching this video right now. What an absolute insane idea that was! So, uh, as I'm driving around, I do appreciate all the people that have said they would like to hear more videos about me talking about sort of subjects, as well as playing along to guitar backing tracks and my own music. Um, but I'll be honest, you know, I've been on, this, been on this path a long time, this awakening journey, to the point now I went through the conspiracy, conspiracy rabbit holes, Completed the conspiracy rabbit holes. Um, had a real, real profound, what I call physical awakening. You know, that actually affects your body. It's not just something you, you imagined or you've thought about. I've had the spiritual Kundalini awakening. I've lost count of how many times I've been through that. But ultimately, I'm at the point now where I'm just trying to use everything I've learned in my experience to have a, a happy and joyful life um, and all the things that I've learned along the way give me kind of tips and ways of managing that and getting through this kind of this very 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 mucky dimension a very tricky place you know every time we open our eyes and look out it's like we're manipulating ourselves because we've created this reality or we're creating somebody else's reality for them um, but no I'm very aware that I create my own reality and that includes the bits that I don't like via that be consciously or subconsciously due to things that are still trapped in there doesn't matter how much quantum hypnotism you've done, how much work you've done on yourself, how much breath work, how much meditation, there are always things and energies, low densities to clear and to move because this reality, while it seems linear, one end to the other, it's more like a spiral staircase and we keep on revisiting the same things that we thought that we dealt with. And I know a lot of people at the moment, myself included, things that we thought we've dealt with are kind of coming back up, aren't they? They're like, hi, you forgot about me. I'm here to piss you off again. I'm here to trigger you. And you're like, really? I thought I dealt with you when I was about seven. Or I thought I dealt with that from when I was seven. But no, more things come up. And the reason being... These things, these darker energies, you know, these densities, these thought forms, they are not coming where humanity is going. They cannot exist in the space that is being built by us, unconsciously or consciously, um, for the next stage. And while anybody watching this who has doesn't have an awareness of any of these concepts but like what is he talking about i think you have to admit over the last three years even if you've not got an awareness of kind of reality and how things work which is most people you have to admit that things have been pretty strange and there's always something nagging at you that maybe maybe you thought hmm, something not quite right about this world but then like most of us we've all right, get back on the job, mate. You know, you know, you got to do this if you, if you know, get yourself a good job, get yourself good. And then we fall into these kind of three D four forms. I wouldn't say we fall into them; they get projected at us, and then, yeah, we do fall into them. You know, it's it's a different way of reality. You've got imagine a wave, and the whole of three D reality lives within that. And then, just like music. You have octaves. We also exist in the other octaves that are above. Uh, we exist everywhere. We have existed everywhere since the beginning of time, and time doesn't exist. <laughs> We've been around since the beginning. We just can't remember. And when our memories do begin to come back, 
it also gives us the full access of all the previous lives that we are having at this moment in time and we can bring in those skills we can bring in those parts of our personalities into this reality as well and together we will build a world anew we will build this world again and we will bring it into alignment with the highest of source energies which are everywhere you know it was a great many years where access to source energy was tricky it's like we're trying to reach up to the highest parts of ourselves, but we couldn't do it via the veil whatever we want to call it but those those days are gone i feel that the only thing that is stopping us connecting with source now is our own type of issues that we need to deal with source is there source is connectable source is very connectable um, we can let source flow through very easily now um, and it wasn't always going to happen at once you know it takes some people to have these experiences before other people to, to show the way to lead the way and it didn't just take one person it took lots of different people delivering the same message because we get attracted to Different people resonate with different people, so we needed different people giving the same message. Um, however, we kind of package that up. Just driving around in our little metal machines that don't really exist because atoms don't have any mass, just like us. And something is keeping all of this glued together. I would suggest a signal that is keeping us vibrating as what would appear as a solid mass although we did invent this reality for the purposes of exploring and expanding the soul and we also created the dissonance the friction we created the friction to help us kind of grow in this situation as well but at some point in time that friction that we used to help us grow got turned into overdrive and the whole gaff got taken over and that is why we are here right now to retake the gaff and to st stay behind people that don't notice green lights go off because they're not paying attention I hope you've all got your eyes to the skies lately um, there's a whole bunch of us literally just walking around looking at the skies going what? can you see what I'm seeing? and I'm aware that not everybody can see what I'm seeing and vice versa I can't see what you're seeing but there is an awful lot going on in the sky at the moment um, do you remember that film Don't Look Up? To really telling you to look up and pay attention for all of this was prophesized wasn't it um, these aren't regular clouds and it's been a very long time since we've been in Kansas guys you have to think that everything is energy including us and the reality that we come from is a reality of lighter energy where we're more free flowing you know um, we have these memories we, we we know these things we have our dream space that's the real reality not this actual reality that's been carved off of the bigger block i was thinking uh, which is always a dangerous thing i try not to think so i was thinking about the um, the apple logo the other day and we all know this it's the apple with the the bite taken out of the apple well what about if creation was the apple, the Taurus field, and this reality is the pocket reality that's been created within it? And that's effectively what has happened. But it was never gonna it was never gonna last because you take this infinite energy and you make a pocket reality. It's only a finite energy which means it can't last. Hence 
the way we look at that down here is the reincarnation cycle and we have our experience the energy gets drained we go back up we pop ourselves back in again whether it's via trickster energy or actual soul decisions and we do the whole thing again and again and again I say we not all of us have been on this reincarnation cycle uh, some of us are brand new or may have just visited once or twice before this reality went to shit or was created however we want to look at it well I didn't expect this big talk to come out of my mouth and I know that if I want to do things like this the last thing in the world I should do is write down with a pen and paper it's not my way it's some other people's way but I know I just need to open my mouth and go um and see what comes out so I hope this little chat and this little channel projection is of some use to uh, whoever may be watching it take care of yourself thank you for listening thank you for checking out all the videos it's very kind we have much gratitude for that and i'll speak to you soon